Kujo Sara has a supportive role where her normal attack is not meant to be used. When using her elemental skill, she gains Crow Feather Cover. Her wrist will glow for the duration of the cover, which is 18 seconds. Kujo Sara's buff has a feather effect around the affected character. You need to quickly swap to the character you want to buff and dash to the AoE to gain the attack buff. When she uses her elemental burst, Kujo Sara will buff the characters in the AoE. To get this buff, you need to move slightly with your character to ensure they got hit by the elemental burst. The buff granted by her elemental skill and elemental burst doesn't stack, but the duration will refresh. 100% buff uptime is possible even without her C2. To do so, you need to focus on the rotation. First, use her elemental skill, but don't use her charge attack. Then, use her elemental burst. Switch your character to gain her 6 seconds attack buff. After 6 seconds, swap back to Kujo Sara and use her charge attack. You don't have to use her elemental skill again because the crow feather cover lasts for 18 seconds. After 6 seconds, swap to Kujo Sara and use her elemental skill. Then, immediately use her charge attack and switch character again. After another 6 seconds buff, her elemental burst should be ready. Immediately use her elemental skill after casting the burst, then switch character. Keep this 6 seconds rotation and you'll get 100% buff uptime. Kujo Sara's first constellation basically reduces her elemental skill cooldown by around 2 seconds. While this may seem negligible, it's actually a huge help to maintain that 100% uptime before getting her C2. Getting Kujo Sara C2 pretty much makes her the best attack buffer in the game. The crow feather she creates when she blinks will grant attack buff. So you can now buff your characters 100% of the time without her elemental burst. This crow feather will not trigger Sara's second passive or generate elemental particles. With her C4, Kujo Sara's elemental burst spreads to 6 directions instead of 4. Kujo Sara's 6 constellation makes her the best support for Electro characters. With how easily she buffs with C2, C6 effect is pretty much guaranteed if you remember to use her skill. Kujo Sara's best option for damage is 4 Emblem of Severed Fate, and Thunder Sutra set comes next. As for her artifact main stat, it varies according to her constellation level and her weapon of choice. For weapons with energy recharge substat, attack electro crit is the best option for damage at any constellation. However, at C0, Emblem of Severed Fate is better used with ER, electro, and crit. If her weapon doesn't have energy recharge, you can stick with the usual ER Electra crit at any constellation. For support build, we'd recommend 4 Noblesse Oblige, Energy Recharge Electra crit, and Energy Recharge Weapon. When it comes to damage, the best 5-star weapon for Gujo Sara is Thundering Pulse. However, for support, LAG for the end provides more to the team. The weapon's passive aligns with her elemental burst's cooldown. As for the 4-star weapon, Pavonius Warbow takes the throne, where the weapon solves Kujo Sara's energy issue. As for F2P, there's no weapon that fits her kit very well. Blacklift is a standard weapon to increase any DPS. 